What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Chris here, Macy Collectibles, and welcome to another edition of the Macy MMA Show. Folks, today I'm so excited. We have probably the most exciting uh, news to bring you to date, in my opinion at least. This is something I, I've been wanting to do for a long time, uh, and we're kind of finally starting to put it into fruition here. So uh, let's just jump right into it. Folks, as corny as it sounds, I really feel like this channel, uh, this community, really is a community. We've got a tight-knit, pretty small group here uh, of folks who, who, who've who kind of stuck with us through thick and thin and just, I really do view it as a community is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, I'm not really good with the uh, lovey-dovey type stuff, but I genuinely feel that way. Um, and so I want us as a group to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. Um, what I'm getting at, and I don't have a good segue for this, so we're just going to jump right in, is I'm very interested in us being a part of a charity. Uh, I don't want to donate myself and be like the Chris West donation to something MMA related. Not really interested in that. I would rather it be uh, a representative of our group here, because without you guys, obviously, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to my cell phone. So what I'm thinking is a little contest, make this a little bit fun for you guys, as well as, uh, you know, doing something really important and giving back. Um, so as a group, I would like us to get together and come up and please write it in the comments below um, of this video. And we're going to have a little contest of who can come up with the best charity idea for our community. Okay. I would like to have some sort of charity set up where um, maybe uh, our Substack donations or our Substack subscriptions uh, all go to a charity or some other thing, something where you guys can donate, still get some value, but all that money can go to something bigger than us. I, I would really like uh, the Mace community to be responsible for having an impact. Uh, outside of ourselves. So that's the first thing. So please comment down below. I'm going to pick from the comments that are in this video. So I'm hoping this video gets a decent amount of views. Maybe we'll have to sponsor the video so that it makes the rounds more or what have you. But uh, whoever has the best idea for how we can all be involved in a charity, how we can get a, something going where everybody can maybe throw a couple dollars in or, or you know, something reasonable that everyone can afford. And um, Put it to good use so give me your best ideas folks if you know a really good charity that's a really good cause uh or you know and and you have an idea of what we could do maybe um to generate money for that look guys i don't care if it's only a hundred dollars that we come up with total for all of us that's that's a hundred dollars that we can put towards something else so let's band together let's get together you know i i typically try not to ever ask you guys for anything um but for this, I'd really like everybody who can. I know everybody can't, and I, I certainly won't hold it against you. But if you can step up to the plate uh, and help be a part of this, I would sure appreciate it. And it's the right thing to do. So again, please just comment down below. What's the best idea you have for a charity? And listen, the person I pick with the best idea, I'm going to hook you up with a pretty sweet card, okay? So the winner will get a, a card. I don't know which one I'll give you, but I'll give you something pretty sweet. Um, Whoever has the best idea, the idea that we go with. So comment down below. Let me know what charity we should donate to, how we should go about generating the funds. So I really look forward to reading those and putting that into practice. This kind of leads me into my next thing, something that's a, a little bit similar, but might even be a little bit more fun. Many of you may not know that you can sponsor fighters. Now, of course, your big names are going to cost a lot of money, but if you can catch them as an up and comer, it can be pretty cheap. And I think it would be super cool. Again, I could go and sponsor a fighter right now and have the mace name up there. I don't want it to be like that and not because I don't want to pay the money, but because again, I really do want this community to be a part of something. So I think it would be awesome if uh, Mace Collectibles community sponsored a fighter. For instance, just last year, Bryce Mitchell's manager reached out to me and was asking me to sponsor their YouTube vlog and it was going to be $500 an episode. I understand $500 is a lot um, for you know, a lot of you, but, um, you know, that's relatively cheap for how big his name is. And it certainly would have worked out well, uh, given, given the, the career Bryce has had thus far, but, uh, just kind of a, an example there of how it's definitely possible and you can get some good names, but I really think it would be cool 
And look, we've been talking about fight or pay like crazy. So I'm not even trying to get a big name. I want to get somebody brand new to the UFC, somebody who's maybe really struggling, you know, and they're just putting all of their heart and soul into trying to make MMA a career. Uh, I think it would be great if we could sponsor them, you know. There's a bunch of different avenues we can go down from sponsoring their vlogs to uh, getting shout outs to them wearing our our gear during, uh, which by the way, Mace Collectibles uh, shirts are on the way. Uh, to wear in those, you know, at press conferences, who knows? So I'm open to ideas about that as well, but I, I intend to sponsor a fighter, but I thought, hey, let's, you know, I don't need my name out there. Let's do it as a group, as a community. It can help grow the channel. It can help the fighter out. Even a couple hundred dollars, you know, that, that goes a long way for a lot of these guys who are trying to get in the UFC. A lot of them don't, you know, there's many that don't even have houses and stuff. They're sleeping at gyms. They're sleeping at friends' houses and stuff like that. And yeah, that's their choice, but who cares? They're doing it uh, to follow their passion. And I'm all about supporting people uh, who go outside themselves and do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. Those are the kind of people that I want to support. So to kick things off, what I thought I would do uh, to maybe lead by, my, lead by example is I'm going to put up for auction tomorrow on eBay. I implore all of you who use eBay to please go check out the listing, give it a watch. Tomorrow night, I'm setting up a seven day auction. That's gonna start on a Friday night tomorrow and it's gonna end on the following Friday night. And I'm gonna put up this uh, sealed 2011 uh, hobby box of UFC right here, as you can see. Nice 2011 sealed title shot. I'm going to put this up on eBay starting tomorrow. I'm going to start the auction at 99 cents and just let it ride. Every penny that comes from this that eBay doesn't steal from us in fees, uh, we are going to put towards sponsoring our first fighter, or maybe we'll do it for the charity, likely sponsoring the fighter. So uh, that way you can get some value if you're somebody who donates. I don't know. But my point is, if you all would like, if you have cards or you have product or whatever, it doesn't even have to be UFC cards. It can just be anything really MMA related uh, or card related in some way that you want to donate uh, to the community, to the Mace community, uh, to put up for auction, to raise money for the charity or sponsoring a fighter. Please get in touch with me. I would absolutely love uh, for any of you to do that. Again, don't feel obligated. I still appreciate you. I know not everybody's in a position. I know some of you are like, damn, I wish somebody would, you know, sponsor me. I totally get it, trust me. But this is something that's been on my mind for a while and uh, I really wanted to bring you guys with me. So hopefully this interests some of you and you have some great ideas that you can give me down in the comments below. And again, for the charity, I will pick a winner and give you a great card. And for the fighter sponsorship, Check out eBay if you'd like to get your hands on this. Uh, it's, I guess you could even consider this a collector's piece at this point. This nice 2011 sealed title shot. Uh, jump over there. Again, all the proceeds are going to go towards sponsoring a fighter in the name of the Mace Card community. Speaking of that, the Mace community, if you haven't been over to macecollectibles.substack.com, please head over there. There's going to be, it's totally free for this. There is a brand new segment uh, that's going to be up. It's already up right now. Uh, as of the time you're watching this video, you can head over there and find it. You will see the Friday, Mace Friday Q&A. I get so many questions in my email and I, uh, along with people, you know, sending me their shipping info, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's very difficult to get back to everybody. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's just do it on the forum there. Head over there, macecollectibles.substack.com. You can post your Friday Q&A questions and every Friday in the video, I'll go as fast as I can through them and try to answer them all to the best of my ability, okay? And again, those of you who wanted the PSA video where I discuss what I look for in PSA cards or any card that I'm gonna send to get graded, what I'm looking for, uh, I'm gonna go over that tomorrow uh, in a quick little video. Hopefully that will help some of you out. I did a video on that uh, maybe a year and a half ago or so. Um, but I'll bring you a more up-to-date one, especially now that Panini's out, uh, et cetera. And one last thing, I want to talk about this Hamza and Gilbert Burns situation. Uh, you know, the latest news is Hamza saying he doesn't think Gilbert Burns is a real challenge and blah, blah, blah. And everybody's like, oh, it'd be a great fight to really see if he's ready for the top. And look, here's my take on this whole situation. There's always going to be a damned if I do and damned if I don't, no matter what you're talking about in MMA. People are always going to find the bright side of it. There's going to be people who can figure out the bad sides of it. The issue that we'd have with Hamza and Gilbert is 
Gilbert, or, Gilbert would absolutely be a test uh, for Hamzat, a bigger test than he's had yet UFC-wise, uh, especially in the grappling department. Of course, Gilbert's very good on the ground. Um, we even saw Usman didn't want to go on the ground with him. So that tells you something. But if you've seen Gilbert fight, you know Gilbert Burns is a very good at jiu-jitsu. He's very good on the ground. The problem that I have is that if you remember, Gilbert Burns fought at 155. He's a 155-er who's now moved up to 170. Hamzat's a 185-er who's down at 170. So my issue is if Hamzat beats him, I, I feel like the skeptics are going to immediately go to that. You know, he's way too small and he is going to be quite small compared to Hamzat. But uh, that's my take on it. I hope the fight happens personally because I really want to see Hamzat get a test up there in the top five. I, I honestly think he's title shot ready. I know many of you might think I'm just riding the hype train. And that's fair. You're entitled to your opinion and maybe you're even right. But to me, I really, just from what I've seen at Hamzat, I don't think there's anybody that could stop him. Of course, everybody has a puncher's chance, but I think he can beat Hamza, or I'm sorry, I think he can beat, he can beat Usman, and I, I think he could probably beat Israel uh, if he can get him down. He's just, he's so athletic, and he's so good, and he understands weight so well, like Khabib did. Um, very interesting times, but that's my only concern, again, about the uh, Gilbert fight, is that people are going to, if he beats him, or he, you know, he, he walks through him, which it's hard to even imagine somebody just walking through Gilbert like that. Um, but if anybody can do it, it's probably Hamza. But I do fear if he does that, that that's the immediate argument people are going to go to and it's just going to delay it even further. So I do feel if he could just somehow get a tad bigger name, it would really solidify people's thoughts that he's ready for uh, the big time. Because I know I'm sure ready to see him in a title fight with Usman. I think it would be crazy. I think it would be crazy. So I know this video uh, wasn't really flowing too well and wasn't really hitting the segues, but... It wasn't really important to me. Um, what is important to me is just that I get this information out there about the charity and sponsoring a fighter. I think it would be really great. Uh, it's easy for us to sit around and bitch about what the UFC does with their pay, etc. But let's actually do something about it, huh? Anyway, folks, before I forget, I promise you I would show you the winners from uh, our previous videos. First, we had this fat pack of sealed 2010 Tops UFC main event that we were gonna give away, and I'll show you the winner for that right now. All right, congratulations to you, my friend. And up next, we had uh, a giveaway for a 2018 Topps UFC Chrome Darren Till X-Fractor Rookie Card. Uh, we were giving that away in a video, and I will show you the winner of this card now. All right, there you go, folks. Congrats to those people who won. Thanks to everybody who participates in those little giveaways. I know you enjoy it. Those of you who won the giveaway, uh, or I'm sorry, those of you from the member break, uh, I should have the rest of you who haven't received shipping yet. I'm hoping to have the rest of you done today. If not, we'll definitely have you all squared up by the end of the weekend. That's going to do it, folks. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow. We'll talk a little bit about PSA and the upcoming card we have this weekend. That's going to do it. Have a great day. Until next time, take care.